Animals that do not have bones are commonly referred to as invertebrates. In this video from the Daily Eco, we explain the main characteristics of these fascinating animals and how they are classified. So let's get started. Characteristics of invertebrates. Unlike vertebrates, they have no backbone or internal skeleton, so they can be said to be boneless animals. They are usually small animals and many of them have protective structures such as shells or carapaces. They are also found in almost all habitats on Earth, from high temperature water in hydrothermal vents to the depths of the oceans or the frozen surface of Antarctica. Invertebrates make up most of the known biodiversity on our planet. There are two types of invertebrates, those with and those without body protection. Next, we will discuss how invertebrates are classified as well as some of their most popular species. Periphera. The periphera or sea sponge are the simplest and most primitive animals on Earth. They are aquatic organisms that grow and live rooted in the grounds or in rocks. Their bodies are made up of small holes called pores. They also have a larger hole called osculum. Cnidaria. They are all aquatic and include corals, yellowfish and hydras. Their bodies resemble a sac with one opening, the mouth, which is connected to the gastric cavity. Around the mouth, they have tentacles with specialized cells called cnidocytes. These contain stinging substances that serve both to defend and attack their prey. Flatworms. This is a group of tapeworms, planarians and trematodes. They have free and parasitic life forms. Unlike the previous groups, they have a central nervous system capable of processing information gathered by the eyes and other sensitive structures. But before we continue, let us put you to the test. Which invertebrate is among the 10 most intelligent animals in the world? The ant, the octopus, the sea sponge. Think about it carefully because at the end of the video you can check if you were right. Mollusca. The group of snails, clams, squids or octopuses has a soft body partially protected by a hard shell. Their internal organs form a visceral mass. Their bodies consist of a muscular fit, the mantle, the pallial cavity that serves as a respiratory apparatus, and finally a shell of calcareous material. Annelid. These animals have a cylindrical body divided into rings. In fact, they are metameric, which means that certain organs are repeated in each of the rings. Their bodies are covered with mucus, a viscous substance secreted by certain glands that helps them move. Nematod. Nematods or roundworms are very common and diverse organisms found in soil and in water. Their bodies are not segmented and have characteristic muscles for locomotion. They can be free-living or parasitic. It is with the appearance of nematodes that invertebrates can develop a new cavity, the psyllium, which permits hollow organs to exist within the body. Arthropods. It is the most diverse and heterogeneous group of boneless animals. In fact, 80% of invertebrates belong to this group. They have a very complicated body structure with a chitous exoskeleton divided into legs, antennae and mouth parts. Their exoskeleton is shed as they grow by molting, resulting in a new one. This process is repeated several times throughout their lives. Some common examples include centipedes, spiders, shrimps and butterflies. Echinoderm. Stars and sea urchins belong to this group. They are the closest marine animals to vertebrates. As exoskeletons, they have five identical parts called calcareous plates. 
Some species have spines and others have the ability to regenerate lost parts. And going back to the question we asked to you earlier, have you thought it through? The correct answer is B. The octopus is one of the most intelligent marine animals that we know of. Let us know in the comments if you knew anything about these boneless animals. Thank you for watching and see you next time.